New at 10, a story that is emotional and nearly tragic. Brewers pitcher Josh Lindbaum says his faith and his family were the two things that gave him strength. Now he credits this trying time with getting him here to Milwaukee and making him better. Our Lance Allen is here with a remarkable story, Lance. Well, new Brewers pitcher Josh Lindblom's journey to Milwaukee from Korea is wild enough. Add nearly losing his daughter during the most difficult time of his baseball life and then having the two best years of his career after that, it reads like a Hollywood movie. New Brewers pitcher Josh Lindblom's youngest daughter is a beautiful little girl named Monroe. Speaking of. Speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> yep. Hey, we go over there, Presley will read to you. When Josh's career in the major stalled, the family moved to Korea. Lindblom's wife, Arielle, was pregnant with their third child when the worst news happened. All the doctors ran out, and of course they're speaking a different language, which made it even harder. Monroe was diagnosed with a rare and very serious heart condition. Within three days, Oriel had to return to Children's Hospital in Indianapolis to save Monroe's life, while Josh stayed behind in Korea. I was having a really, really bad year. Um, just, I wasn't pitching well. Uh, a few times I thought I was going home just because of my poor performance. And then you add this on top of it, and then she leaves with the kids, and I'm by myself for essentially what would have been the last two and a half months of the season. After Josh returned to the U.S. and Monroe was born, it got worse. What we saw her for it was, 30 seconds, Yeah. Um, and they took her away immediately, and she actually coded twice. And the only thing that I remember about it was it was like she got to hold her for about 10 seconds, I got to hold her for about 10 seconds, and, she was and cool. then about 10 doctors grabbed her and started doing tests on her. Um, and then they had told us, like, we'll come back in an hour and we'll let you know when she goes over. Okay. Well, it was like an hour went by and we hadn't seen anybody. And then two hours go by. And like this process, it was probably about three hours mm -hmm. before somebody came back. And those three hours felt like oh. an eternity. Yeah. It was a time to test their faith. I have gone through the anger. I was mad in the beginning that this was happening to us, it was happening to our child. And I think you do, you have a lot of questions in your mind, like why did these things happen and why, you know, why does a child have to go through these kind of things? Right. But at the end of the day, for me, it was, we can't fix this. And learn life lessons. No amount of money, no amount of celebrity status is gonna fix them. It can happen to anybody. Josh says at that same time, it wasn't coincidence that his career actually got better. This was kind of like the turning point in my career. We're sitting in the hospital, she's probably, three days out of surgery, okay. her first surgery. Okay. And I turn to her and I say, I think that if somebody were to come to me and say I couldn't play this game anymore, I would be okay. But something like this needed to happen. Thankful for that day. I have the two best years of my career um, just with that perspective change. Now Josh has a heartbeat design on his glove. And if you look at Monroe, you'd never know the full story. By every appearance, she looks normal, yeah, healthy, she does. And happy. Yeah. It's crazy, true? yeah. With a yeah. lot, with a lot of attitude. A daddy. Monroe takes aspirin, but she's not out of the woods. She'll need future surgeries. We okay. know that. Um, okay. We don't know when. We kind of just go, like we said, day to day. We're in a good season of our life right now for her and for us, and that could change in six months when we go back. But for now, they are strong as a family. I think our faith is, you know, kind of the bedrock foundation. This is a worldview shattering experience. There yeah. is light at the end of a the tunnel. There is there hope. There can be and there is hope. Josh and Ariel frequently help and minister to other heart families and kids affected with heart ailments. They love lending support. So I'm sure you will see them around Milwaukee once spring training ends and they head north. And yes, Monroe is the star of the show. They said that she just runs around and you would never know it if you saw her. I just have to imagine who was taking care of the other two kids while she as a mother was dealing with Monroe. Absolutely, Shannon. You know, it's like you're a whole world away and Josh is trying to, she wants to be there for him and his low point. He wants to be there for her and her low point. It was unbelievable, but he credits that with getting him to Milwaukee. Wow. How about that? Thank you for making the introduction. No problem. Happy to have him. Yeah. You can see the entire interview with Josh Lindblom and his wife at TMJ4.com.